Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy George. We're back at you with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be working on Anais, aka the R3. Uh, today my task is to uh, install a fucking exhaust, a full six of an exhaust without dropping any of the bearings. I think it should be pretty simple and straightforward, but we'll see. Um, so the exhaust that we have, uh, as you can see, I got all the tools and shit already. Sorry about the highway noise. But I got all the tools and I used looking good. So I'm gonna be using my Nikita Impact, my D Wall tool set, and the exhaust we're installing is the CS Racing exhaust. It's full system, deletes the cat and all that. So I'm gonna see if I can't fucking drop everything and pull off the cat, the O2, all that shit without basically dropping a ferry. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. And so the first part is to. Um, I'm gonna unbolt it from the headers first. Uh, that's a 12 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna use my impact. The reason why I'm not using my black sockets today is because I don't feel like I'm gonna be putting enough stress on the sockets to crack them. So yeah, I'm gonna be using, and also I'm too lazy, I'm lazy. There's only like one bolt that I've seen so far that um, it's gonna require me to do it by hand. So basically I'm gonna zip these off try to zip these off without fucking cracking them and uh what else there's a bolt where the hell is it uh there's a bolt right here on the side so i can get that with the gun and then there's another bolt back here i don't know if you guys can see that and i can't fucking see the screen but there's a bolt like right there I'm not sure if you guys can see kind of see it but yeah so I'm gonna have to come in from up here behind the swing arm and get that with the um, hand tools but other than that it should all be pretty simple straightforward so I'm gonna get cracking and uh, we'll see I'll hit you guys up with an update all right so I got all four bolts off they weren't like corroded or anything, I thought they might be, but they're just like discolored kinda. But um came off really simply. Um yeah, you could definitely do that with a hand tool if your shit's not corroded. If it is a little bit corroded, just throw a little bit of a PV blaster on it. Or WD-40, let that shit soak, hit it a little bit, and then you know, just keep going. Just take your time so you don't wanna because you don't wanna snap the fucking stud or anything like that, make the stay a lot longer than it has to be. So yeah, now that I got the headers bolts off, I'm gonna go to the back and start hitting those bolts that I showed you guys earlier. And then those two bolts should allow everything to drop. Um, gonna have to take care of the O2 sensor, which is right here. So I'm debating on whether or not I should unscrew this screw right here. I don't have to take off the fairing, so I'm not cheating, but just to unscrew it so that way I can have a little bit more flexibility. But I should be able to get back there with a spanner like from this angle underneath and hit that I'm sorry if I can't show you guys like I can't really see the screen but yeah I should be able to hit this part right here with the spanner from underneath oh I don't even I probably won't even have to remove uh, the screw because I could just flex it a little bit hit the spanner and that's it so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and drop that and uh, check back in with you guys once I do that Now that I have this bolt out, um, once you get that bolt out on the cat, there's gonna be like this washer kind of thing. So I'm trying to see if I can show you guys this washer thing, which will spin, but that's attached to the cat, so you don't really have to worry about it. Since I have the headers unbolted, and the cat is really only being held on by one bolt right now, it can move. So I'm gonna go over to the other side and um, hit that with the. Um, ratchet real quick and then I'm gonna try to get a spanner on the O2 and uh, take that off and then we should be able to just drop the system um I might have enough clearance because my only issue right now as far as dropping the system is enough clearance to get the um, headers out because obviously as you can see it's not that far off from the ground so like if I drop the cat with the cat sitting down I'll probably still be hitting on the headers on this fairing so I'm gonna have to see how I wanna um, navigate that. I do have a front stand and a rear stand upstairs so if anything I'll bring those down to get me a little bit of more clearance from the ground so that way I'm able to yank everything out. Uh, if I had a sawzall I'll just cut it. I don't really give a fuck but um, 
Oh, bikers. But yeah, so I'm just trying to spit flames, you know? And this so far, I've, it's only been like five minutes. So, so far it's going pretty well. Uh, let's see how long that keeps up. All right, yo, what's up guys? So, boom, I got it to drop. So what I had to do was basically loosen the uh, rear brake. So I just loosened these Allen keys and that gave me enough room to get the gun on the uh, on the boat back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get it in focus. But there is a bolt back there uh, where my hand is at. Just fell out. So once I did that, everything dropped. Uh, obviously the headers is no longer on the uh, head. And one of the, the gaskets fell out, so keep that on the side because you're gonna need that. So once that happened, I didn't have to remove this anymore because the uh, O2 dropped and it has enough length to uh, allow me to work on it from down here. So I'm gonna get started on working on that. You're gonna need something to prop this up while you do that because um, you don't want all that pressure on the, uh, on the line right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and I'll be right back and we'll start installing new. So as you can see, I got the uh, O2 undone. Uh, it did get twisted up, so when you tighten it, when you put it in the new system, in your new system, remember to do this, so that way as you're tightening it in, it straightens out, and there's no pressure on the O2. So now we're gonna see if once I remove this from underneath the exhaust, will I be able to take it out without any uh, issues, or will I have to uh, go upstairs and get the stands? And um, yeah, all right, so boom, I was able to get it out without having to pick up the bike or none of that. All you gotta do is just use your angles, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, now that that's out, I'm actually pretty excited. It's actually quite uh, a lot of weight, especially at the tail end. But now that that's out, uh, we're gonna start assembling the new exhaust and putting that shit in. I keep holding the camera like this. I gotta keep reminding myself not to do that. I need a Joby Gorilla stand so that way I can just hold it like this, but it will be up here. But um, yeah, so sorry about the wind, guys. But um, yeah, so I got the exhaust out. Time to unpack it to you and install it. And yes, that's uh, Donicia's um, mom. She's getting an exhaust as well soon. But uh, yeah, so start to, it's time to unpackage that and uh, install it. So now I'm gonna start mounting the new system. This is how it's mounted. Uh, so this is this will be A, this will be B. Uh, so this is A, so mounts to the uh, right head or the right uh, you know exit and then this is uh, B so number two it'll mount over the uh, first one on the uh, left side to make this crisscross kind of action going and then I lined it up once once you do that it all lines up and makes it like even at the bottom for this connection to go through so um, I'm gonna start doing that all right, what's up guys? So I'm back. Right now I got the headers mounted. Uh, they're not fully secure yet. I really love the chrome. Like, look at that shit, like, it's nice. But um, yeah, so I got that mounted up with the, uh, with the coupler that splits the two into one, the Y pipe. And then I have the, um, the muffler system. Uh, I hooked up the O2 sensor. Remember to twist it before you start screwing it down. This down the third. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mount this to this loosely. And one thing that I did notice is that the coupler, it doesn't have like a uh, clamp system. So you just push the uh, pipes all the way to the edge where this lip right here. And basically the pressure of the headers plus this is what keeps it in place. So you got you want to make sure that when you're putting it all together, you leave a little bit of room. So that way while you're working, you still have room to make adjustments for the headers and for the pipe itself. So once I mount this loosely, secure this to where it's supposed to be secured, then I can start messing with the headers and tighten those down and everything should be, you know, good to go. And then I just put it on the plastic, so. All right guys, so I got everything mounted, all tightened down. Headers are mounted, tightened down. Again, like I said before, these are the only points. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. These are the only points as well as the point right here behind the uh, master cylinder for the rear. Uh, those are the only points that the exhaust is hung on by. And then there's a clamp underneath here, which you can see right there. This clamp right here, that connects to this. But other than that, there's no other clamps or anything like that. Um, this was a relatively, really, it's really simple install. Way lighter, 
looks way better even like i haven't put the fairing on yet because i haven't started it to check everything but like even with that it just looks so much better on the bike now and then with the chrome popping out uh the bike looks really good and the only issue that i had mounting this up was this bracket right here sorry i'm trying to get my angles right this bracket right here it was very difficult to get the uh, screw into and it was slightly off so i just had to like mount it to see where the uh, screw sits and then this mounts it to bend the bracket a little bit i did that about like three or four times and then on like the fourth try you know i hit it at the right angle and everything went in so i'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup and then i'm gonna come back to you guys and we're gonna start her up and see what she sounds like make sure that nothing is uh i don't got an exhaust leak and uh yeah all right guys what's up uh, i'm back uh we're gonna we're about to do the first startup uh, i cleaned up went upstairs got my dremel started dremeling away because like uh this was coming into contact with the uh, plastics and the Dremel died on me so right now it's charging up but I think I got enough out of the way to like start it and um, see what's up with it uh, obviously I am going to clean it up it looks kind of atrocious right now hold on let me try to focus it it looks atrocious right now but I'm going to clean it up so let's see what she sounds like can't see because the camera glare but Oh shit. This shit sounds fucking mean. God damn. That shit's loud. I like that shit. That shit's fucking throaty as hell. <laughs> he likes it too. Yeah, that shit throaty as hell, boy. God damn. So, uh, I'm gonna put the fucking fairings on and then we'll see what's up with it. Hey yo, so I just took the bike around the fucking hotel. I might have to put the baffles in that shit. That shit is loud. Like when I say loud, that shit is loud. Like yo, I'm going first gear, brrr, fucking D cell, bah, bah, bah. shit is spitting. Like I can feel it. Like it's like one of those like basically like since it's not tuned, you know, the emission system is dumping shit in the fucking exhaust and it's like spitting flames. It's like backfiring, mad loud. This shit is crazy. Like I love it. Don't get me wrong. Maybe for like. When I go out, you know, for shows and shit like that, I'll take the baffle out, but like, yo, like, I'm gonna get the cops called on me, like, no doubt, attract mad attention, but like, it's wonderful, I love it, but, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like with the fairing on it. This bike, the bike is, the bike's on, but, uh, I'm gonna clean this shit, but yeah, shit clean. She clean, she clean, looking and sounding right now. Like, yo. Fucking crazy, so I definitely recommend going with CS tuning, CS racing. Sorry, CS racing exhaust is a full system. I paid like 560 for it, it was on sale. Um, normal price is when I first looked at them, it was like it was almost $900. So I was like, Yeah, you know what? Even though it's custom made, handmade, literally handmade in Brazil, comes with a one year warranty. Um, I'm just like for 800, almost $900 not for me especially on the r3 hell no but then you know i checked one day i was like let me check on them before i order like some other exhaust i was looking at a yoshi and i seen them on sale i added it to my cart and i was just watching it for a couple days and then they emailed me or like they made an offer to me and it was just too good to refuse so basically i got it for 560 after shipping and tax and all that so yeah so she crazy looking good and i love the chrome all i gotta do is clean up my fairing but yeah, it was super easy to install. I didn't have to drop none of the fairings. Um, but yeah, I just gotta clean up that little bit. But I love the chrome poking out. Fucking exhaust looks clean as hell. Even without that fairing, it looks clean. So Loki was thinking about cutting the tabs just to have that exhaust sticking out. But yeah, it's clean. And now I'm about to do it. I got the tail tidy. I'm about to clean this all up and um, make this flat like that. So let's we'll see. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in on this, like, vlog slash how-to kind of deal thing. But, uh, it was a good challenge. Uh, I enjoyed working on the bike today. It was a lot funner than I thought it'd be because I it was like, oh, I'm not looking forward to messing with any, like, crusty bolts and all that shit. But, like, it was really easy and I loved the outcome. 
Um, so all I gotta do is wait for my Dremel to charge up, clean it up, and she's done. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, smash that subscribe button, and share.